Local business owner says that negative reviews of her fitness gym were completely false and she's worried about how these claims may affect her reputation. She tells Valley News Team's Katie Opperly that people are using these review websites in a way that they were not intended. I know that people look at, at the reviews, Google reviews, Yelp reviews, uh, Facebook reviews. Trisha Isendorf is a business owner in Fargo. She owns one of the millions of businesses and companies that can be reviewed online, and she says this has a larger impact than people realize. As a small business owner with a very limited marketing budget, social media and word of mouth are huge for us. So when her business started to see negative feedback on the review site Yelp, claiming things she says are totally false, she began to worry. I was the target of uh, some defamation and some slander in a business that I have built. This business is like my baby. And um, I t like I said, I take great pride in it. And um, at the end of the day, all I have is my reputation. She says some of the people reviewing her gym have never even been there. It's all freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. But when you're, you know, when you're so slanderous and, and defamatory and with the lies, I don't know how, how they get away with that. Isendorf says people look at reviews first when considering going to a business, and this is why she feels it's important to be able to protect business owners from false claims. I think it's important that people take a moment and really think hard about the impact that they can have um, on a business. Yelp does allow people to report reviews they feel are false or defamatory. They also say owners can reach out to the reviewer themselves. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. Isendorf did reach out to these reviewers and the comments since have been taken down.